should have taken a sack for a kid that's really supposed to still be in high school. Um, you know, it's hard. Kids that age, it's hard to even call a play and get out of the huddle, let alone execute. So I think he's doing well. What happened with Pete? Go ahead. Sorry. Any other news here? He's, or excuse me, Lamar Dawson. I um, thought he played really well in there. And, yeah, has really taken a new scheme and playing aggressive in the run and came off a couple times on his own plays off the guards and, and made a couple good plays. So it's really good to see. I think, um, you know, in general, as you look at our team, is those guys are in their fourth semester of that class. There's a lot of really good players in there that either, either are marquee players already, um, like Marquise Lee, or guys that are really coming into their own. So um, as those guys go into the third year, you know, I think that's when they really start to, to step it up and not sure if you're commenting on it, but uh, can you tell us why Max Whitaker is on the sideline? Yeah, Max hurt his knee. Um, both Max and Marquise both hurt their knees earlier in practice, so um, uh, they're going to have them both checked out further. How about uh, Kelsey? Uh, yeah, hurt his ankle early, in, uh, real early in practice and did not return. How did Kelsey do? I thought Cody did really well. Um, I think he was 15 or 18 or something like that. Um, but I thought he. he what Cody does, which is show up in these formats, uh, you know, make plays, flip the ball underhanded, and uh, it's kind of what he's always done. He's always been a gamer, whether that's uh, high school basketball, high school football, or in these, these formats for us. When you go back and evaluate the tape, how difficult is it to determine how well the quarterbacks are doing with the snap issues? Uh, I don't think it'd be that difficult. We'll still be able to evaluate them um, on the other plays and uh, you know, see, see what it looks like. You know, I think more than that, it's harder to evaluate because of the rush. Chad Wheeler's been getting uh, a bit more reps at the left tackle position. What's his weight up to, and uh, how are you feeling about his progress in terms of can he challenge for playing time this year? Yeah, Chad was 284 last week, um, which is a guy who on his uh, official visit, whatever that was, a year and a half ago. Um, less than two years ago, was 220. So um, Chad's really done an unbelievable job in the weight room with nutrition. And uh, I know hopefully he's one of those kind of lower recruited guys What weight do you want him to get up to in the long run? Well, I think eventually he'll be a 300-pound guy. Mm -hmm. He's got big legs. You know, we're, we're talking about a guy who's still, um, you know, is only redshirt, so he's still got four years left. Mm -hmm. If you think you can see your wide receiver, how do you kind of think this morning? I thought Marquise was really good in seven on seven. <laughs> <laughs> he was really, we found our best corner on our team, too, today. Yeah, yeah. We flipped him and put him on the other side. So.
<laughs> no, the drill is set up for, uh, for them to be blocked. Um, that's actually a field goal block drill, so it was a good thing, not a bad thing. Bailey comes back in linebacker. What linebacker spot are you thinking for him? Well, there's really only two inside spots now. You know, Sam was where you're talking about those outside guys playing, so there's a Mike and a Will and Hayes and Mike and Young and Keith. He goes for the right If you guys want Tuesday after practice, um, you guys kind of want to meet the new coaches with seven new guys. Um, we'll buy you guys dinner after practice there in Galen. We just kind of have a big table with those mid-year guys and the three, the four new coaches there. Um, no cameras or, or tape, just to get to know them off the record. All right. All right. Thanks, All right. Thanks, Thanks,